Let's solve one previous question of mathematical logic. This question was asked in GATE CS 2013, question number 47. Which one of the following is not logically equivalent to this? Then four options are given. Let me first simplify it. Negation of there exist x for all y alpha and for all z beta. We can take this negation inside. When we will take negation symbol inside, this existential quantifier will change to inversal quantifier. So for all x, negation of then rest are same. For all y alpha and for all z beta. So we took this negation symbol inside. This existential quantifier changed to inversal quantifier. Next we can apply the De Morgan law. If negation of P and Q, it will be equivalent to negation of P or negation of Q. So now after applying De Morgan law here, we will get for all X, the negation of for all Y alpha or negation of for all Z beta. Previously it was and, now it is or. And we know P implies Q is equivalent to negation P or Q. So just consider for all Y alpha as P and negation of for all Z beta as Q. So it is in the format negation P or Q. We can write P implies Q means for all Y alpha implies negation of for all Z beta. Now again we can take this negation symbol inside. So this inversal quantifier will change to existential quantifier. It will be for all x for all y alpha implies there exist z negation of beta. The same is present in option c. For all x for all y alpha implies there exist z negation of beta but not d. Due to this, it is not logically equivalent. Or is commutative P or Q is equivalent to Q or P. So what we can do here, we can switch. This for all Y alpha and for all Z beta, we can switch. As here, or symbol is there. So after switch, we will get for all X, then negation of for all z beta or negation of for all y alpha. Now let this is our p for all z beta and negation of for all y alpha is our q. So it is in the format negation p or q you can write p implies q. So it will be for all z beta implies negation of for all y alpha. Now we can take this negation inside. So this inversal quantifier will change to existential. It will be for all x for all z beta implies there exist y negation of alpha. It's present in option B, not in option A. Option A and option B are beta implies alpha. That's why I switch this two to find beta implies alpha. While option C and option D are alpha implies beta. So here option B and option C are logical equivalent. While option A and option D are not logical equivalent. Answer will be option A and option D. In exam mark is given to all. I already discussed predicate logic. Just go through the lecture. And if today lecture is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.